Hello there guys, so welcome back to my channel and in today's video I have this very nice festive uh, warm cranberry glitter cut crease look for you guys and I use the Jaclyn Hill uh, collaboration with Morphe brushes. I love this palette, it's so pigmented, buttery, very nice. It's a very nice palette to make you like slay your makeup in any type of way, event, anything. I love this palette. And if you guys are interested in how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so the first things first, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and applying this onto my eyelids and then setting it with a setting powder. This has always been my routine every single time I know I'm about to apply on some eyeshadow. So if you guys have an eyeshadow primer that you guys prefer to use, then go ahead and use that. But this is just my way of prepping my eyes. So the palette that I'm going to be using today in this look is the Jaclyn Hill palette in collaboration with Morphe brushes. So this is how the the palette looks like it's pretty much used up but if that's because my sister uses it I'm gonna be going towards the orangey warm cranberry type of look and the first shade that I'm gonna be grabbing is this shade right here this is called Pooter So this shade is called Pooter. I look retarded. And the blending brush that I'm going to be using is this Morphe M441 blending brush. And I'm going to be applying this on as my first transition shade. I don't know if I ever mentioned it in one of my videos, but when I was young, I, I fell and I had to get, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a little scar. I ran into, a, I didn't fall, but I ran into a pole and it created like this bruise and it started like bleeding. So I had to go to the hospital and get it stitched up. So now it's like whenever I apply on eyeshadow, it it doesn't capture it. So it looks like my eyeshadow is not even blended. But I try to work with it. It's annoying, but I just try to work with it. I'm mainly focusing this shadow right, right above my crease because this is the transition shade. So from the crease right here, can you guys see that? I'm like, I'm like pushing my brush right above the crease, blending it upwards. I probably looked creepy doing that. <laughs> now I'm gonna be taking this color right here called Hunts and applying this right under the first shade that we just laid down. So it's gonna be right here. Ooh, Ooh that's very pigmented. Now to kind of deepen up the look, I'm going to be taking this shade right here in the middle. This shade is called Roxanne. And then I'm going to be applying this right under and on the crease. This is just going to really build up that orange shade that we just laid down. All right, so I'm gonna be applying this right here, like on the lid, on the crease, blending it in with the second shade, Hunting or hunts and we're just going to be building up that orange shade and i'm also using this lexi 227 blending brush i've been using this for the hunts and also this shade right now we're going to be grabbing the color right next to roxanne and this is in the shade jax and i'm going to be applying this with a morphe m322 brush and we're gonna be focusing this on the outer V of the eye. To be honest, I'm still new to this whole cut creasing thing, but I really wanna get used to it and I really feel like this is such a thing in the whole makeup industry now, doing cut creases. So I've been doing it, I haven't been really doing a good job at it, but you know what? Hopefully in this video, you guys can kinda of see that, you know, Practice makes perfect and I'm still progressing in my makeup journey experience and everything like that. So if you guys, you know, just take it easy on you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, applying this on the back of my hand. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe M421 Concealer Brush.
So this is low key irritating me, but you know what? I'm gonna show you guys that I'm trying my best and I hope you guys appreciate that I'm trying. So now I'm gonna take an angle brush because I feel like that concealer brush was a little bit too big. Oh, well, using an angle brush is way easier than a concealer brush. All right, you guys, so my camera just stopped because I ran out of memory, but I think I got it. Um, fun fact, this eye is actually sleepier than this eye. Um, yeah, so it was a little bit harder for this eye, but I think I got it. Um, it looks good. I think it looks good. All right, now I'm gonna take my Morphe. <gasps> Whoa, the label came off. This is just a small detailing shader brush. And I'm going to apply the shade Firework onto the area where we applied the concealer. Okay, and then now I'm going to take um, this Morphe E17 brush and grab the same shade right here, right next to Roxanne. This is uh, Jax. And apply this onto the outer V just to really blend out the colors together. I'm actually really debating if I should add glitter onto the cut crease part, but I'm nervous because you guys, I really don't wanna mess up this look and I don't wanna have to redo this look, but we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> I think I did it. I think it looks good. I'm so nervous for this eye because this is like my weak eye. Oh, you know, props to you guys who do this. I can't breathe for shit. So we're gonna finish up the eyes later. And now I'm gonna start on my face. I'm gonna be taking this Lancome Hydro Glow. Since it is winter, my face has been getting a little bit more dry patches. So I like to use an illuminating primer. And then now I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer and using this to conceal and also highlight. This is in the shade Medium. And then after that, I'm going to bake my face using my air spun. I kind of like to apply a very thin layer when I bake, especially during the winter time, because if I do like a thick layer, like, like this kind of thick, um, whenever I, I take it off or brush off the excess, it creates a lot of dry patches. So I just like to do a very thin layer of um, the setting powder. Now that the face is all set, I'm going to go ahead and skip to my brows. Um, a lot of my friends have been like questioning how I do my brows or like what I use and everything like that. So I'm probably going to use that in a separate or I'm probably going to film a separate video of how I do my brows. Um, if you guys are interested in how I do my brows, then go ahead and let me know. But I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about it because it's basically the same routine. I don't do much to my brows, surprisingly. I only use one product, but I mean, I'll get more into detail if you guys are interested in how I do my eyebrow routine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows and then I'll be right back. So I just got done doing my brows and then now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. The first shade that I'm gonna be grabbing is the first shade that we applied for our transition shade. This is uh, Pooter and I'm gonna be taking this Morphe R41 pencil brush. So after we're done applying on Pooter, we're gonna grab the shade Roxanne and apply this right above Pooter. And this is a Morphe Y20 brush. 
All right, you guys, and then with the Morphe Y22 brush, I'm going to grab the shade Jax and apply this closest to my waterline. And this is a very nice uh, small detailing brush, so it's really gonna really, you know, get in there. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and then prep them for eyelashes. So the lashes that I'm going to be using for this look today are these 615 lashes from Salon Perfect. You can find these lashes at um, Walmart. I don't think they sell it anywhere else. I don't think they sell at Ulta, but I know for sure that they don't have it at Target or CVS. So maybe check Ulta if they do have it. I'm not too sure, but Walmart for sure has them. They have the four pack and also the individual pack. And the individual, I think it's like $3 and then the four pack is... $8.99 and I really think that they're worth it. They're very simple, flirty, sexy, sophisticated at the same time and the fact that the band is so thin, it's very comfortable wearing on the eyes. So I definitely recommend you guys getting these lashes. So this is how the lashes look on. Yes. Yes. Now we're gonna finish off the face and I'm gonna be bronzing slash contouring with this NYX um, bronzing powder. This is in the shade Tan. And I'm gonna take my Mi 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 contour brush all right you guys so for highlight i'm going to be taking my favorite highlighter this has been my favorite highlighter ever since i purchased it and it is the dose of colors katie and desi uh, collaboration this is in their shade mita may yes yes and yeah highlight on fleek now for the lip color, I'm going to take this Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton. I'm going to apply the Dose of Colors Desi and Kitty collection again, lip gloss in over the top. And since we do have like a little glitter liner going on in the eyes, I thought that adding some glitter onto the lips would just tie this whole look together. Alright, and we're now done.